Welcome back to the program. The fifth global conference on the elimination of child labor has ended with the Durban Call to Action document, which prescribes priorities to end the problem and all the social complications associated with it. The event, put together by the International Labor Organization and UNICEF, had government, labor, civil societies, as well as some Nobel Peace laureates in attendance in South Africa. The well, theme was raise your hand for kids and for the first time children were active participants. After five days of speeches, panel discussions and appeals, the fifth global conference on the elimination of child labor ended with the Durban call to action document. The main points include ending child labor in agriculture, realize children's right to education and equitable compulsory access to it increase financing and international cooperation for the fight, accelerate multi-stakeholder effort to prevent and eliminate child labor, achieve universal access to social protection, strengthen the prevention of child labor, as well as protection of survivors. Ghana is one of the many countries grappling with the child labor issues, especially in agriculture, and the government says measures are being taken to end it. So now education from primary, that is the basic, to senior high school is free. And government is also go doing another intervention in the area of TV, that is technical and vocational education, where we are trying to incorporate it into the free education system. There is free feeding and then provision of uniform and other school supplies to all schools to ensure that children do stay in school and they do not work on the fields. The issue of the number of children who are not going to school, especially girls, are linked. And one of the linkage is the economic and the financial drivers that push family to take their children out of school and get them to work. So we have to address, the first thing is to address these financial drivers that make families make such an unfortunate choice, school or work. For the first time, children were part of the conference and not just for singing and dancing. There was a special intergeneration session where they got a chance to read out their own call to action and they're happy for the opportunity. It is very, very um, pertinent that children are actually into it because uh, as it has been constantly said, you can never say anything about children without children themselves. It's better to hear it from the horse's mouth because now if you, you start thinking for children, you are assuming, you know, and assumptions are very, very wrong. And that's why we actually get to a point whereby we're missing the point. As long as they, as long as they are going to say we must stop child labor, social mechanisms, they they must, social protection mechanisms must be put first. Uh, they must know how I'm going to get my education, how am I going to get my basic needs, as long as how my life is going to continue after I stop working. I feel I feel I feel happy that the children are involved in this conference because a lot of them panic and they have a lot of suffering so they try maybe to to find the solution. So the conference maybe can help to change the situation. According to the 2020 Global Estimates of Child Labor, 160 million boys and girls remain in child labor, and 112 million are in agriculture. Others are child combatants, among other jobs. From 2016 to 2020, child labor is said to have increased by 8.9 million, entirely among 5 to 11-year-olds. The UN said deadline to end child labor is 2025. Hopefully, things will change for the better in three years.